You've given ChatGPT the ability to have memories. You've been playing with that about previous conversations. And also the ability to turn off memory. Which is, I wish I could do that sometimes. Just turn on and off, depending. I guess sometimes the alcohol can do that, but <laughs> not not in, uh, not optimally, I suppose. Uh, what what have you seen through that, like playing around with that idea of remembering conversations and not? We're very early in our exp explorations here, but I think what people want, or at least what I want for myself, is a model that gets to know me and gets more useful to me over time. This is an early exploration. Um, I think there's like a lot of other things to do, but that's where we'd like to head. You know, you'd like to use a model and over the course of your life, or use a system, there'll be many models, and over the course of your life, it gets, it gets better and better. Yeah, how hard is that problem? Because right now it's more like remembering little factoids and preferences and so on. What about remembering, like, don't you want GPT to remember all the shit you went through in November? And all the, yeah. all the drama, and then you yeah, can, because yeah, yeah. right now you're clearly blocking it out a little bit. It's not <laughs> just that I want it to remember that. I want it to integrate the lessons of that. Yes. And remind me in the future what to do differently or what to watch out for. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we all gain from experience over the course of our lives, varying degrees. And I'd like my AI agent to gain with that experience too. Um, so if we if we go back and let ourselves imagine that, you know, trillions and trillions of context length, if I can put every conversation I've ever had with anybody in my life in there, if I can have all of my emails input out, like all of my input output in the context window every time I ask a question, that'd be pretty cool, I think. Yeah, I think that would be very cool. Um, people sometimes will hear that and be concerned about privacy. Is there, what, what, what do you think about that aspect of it, the more effective the AI becomes at really integrating all the experiences and all the data that happened to you and give you advice. I think the right answer there is just user choice. You know, anything I want stricken from the record for my AI agent, I want to be able to like take out. If I don't want it to remember anything, I want that too. You and I may have different opinions about where on that privacy utility trade off for our own AI we want to be, which is totally fine. But I think the answer is just like really easy user choice. But there should be a, some high level of transparency from a company about the user choice. Because sometimes company in the past, companies in the past have been kind of sh shady about like, yeah, we're, it's kind of presumed that we're collecting all your data and we're using it for a good reason for advertisement and so on. But there's not a transparency about the details of that. That's totally true. You, you know, you mentioned earlier that I'm like blocking out the November stuff. I was just I'm, teasing you. Well, I mean, I think it was a very traumatic thing and it did immobilize me for a long period of time. Like definitely the hardest, like the hardest work thing I've had to do was just like keep working that period. Because I had to like, you know, try to come back in here and put the pieces together while I was just like in sort of shock and pain and, you know, Nobody really cares about that. I mean, I, the team gave me a pass and I was not working at my normal level. But there was a period where I was just like, it was really hard to have to do both. But I kind of woke up one morning and I was like, this was a horrible thing to happen to me. I think I could just feel like a victim forever. Uh, or I can say this is like the most important work I'll ever touch in my life and I need to get back to it. And it doesn't mean that I've repressed it because sometimes I like wake in the middle of the night thinking about it. I do feel like an obligation to keep moving forward. Well, th that's beautifully said, but there could be some lingering stuff in there. Like what I would be concerned about is that trust thing that you mentioned, that being paranoid about people, uh, as opposed to just trusting everybody or most people, like using your gut. It's a tricky dance. For sure. I mean, because I've seen in, in my part-time explorations, I've been diving deeply into the Zelensky administration, the Putin administration, and the dynamics there in wartime in a very highly stressful environment. And what happens is distrust, and you isolate yourself both, and you start to not see the world clearly. And that's a concern, that's a human concern. You seem to have taken it in stride and kind of learned the good lessons and felt the love and let the love energize you which is great, but still can linger in there.